people don't know this, but there's a direct correlation from goal settings and having goals to your level of happiness. And this is something that I've only recently discovered through the book Cybernetics. And I'll literally share you guys everything I know and take all the golden nuggets that I've learned about goal setting and give it to you guys all on a silver platter in this short video today. Let's get started. Goal striving equals happiness. Happiness is a symbol of normal, natural functioning. And when man is functioning as a goal striver, he tends to feel fairly happy, regardless of the circumstances. For example, all the entrepreneurs says times are much simpler and they wish they embrace these sort of initial grinds much more. Because that initial grind was when your goals were set really high and all you had ambitions and you were just working day and night even though the hours were long, even though it was stressful, those were one of the happiest times ever because that's sort of when you had a goal and you're striving very hard to reach it. So an example, Thomas Edison lost a laboratory worth millions in a fire with no insurance. So on us, what in the world will you do? He replied, we'll start rebuilding tomorrow morning. And that's what Edison said. He maintained an aggressive attitude. He was still goal oriented despite his misfortune. And he was most likely never unhappy about this loss. He was angry about it, but he didn't let it put him down because he was so happy to continue striving to success. And that goal striving nature eradicated any sadness. Next, having worthwhile goals, very important. Emptiness is a symptom that you're not living creatively. Meaning one, you either have no goal that is important enough to you, or two, you're not using your talents and efforts in striving towards an important goal. Non-worthwhile goals would lead to life not having purpose or life is not worthwhile. And that's sort of why depression hits because they don't have any goal. When you're watching Netflix and just binge watching YouTube all day, you have no goal and that's sort of why depression kicks in. Next, sense of security. Man is a goal striving mechanism. Like that's something that I learned. Like in our blood, we are just super goal striving and that's all we wanna do. Therefore, man maintains his balance pose and sense of security when he's moving forward or seeking. So now you might understand why some people might feel insecure, they might feel not worthy enough. It's because they don't have a goal that they're reaching. Without that goal, you're not a man and you don't have that confidence that lets you just keep progressing in life. Therefore, having a goal would give you a sense of security. Next, don't work for others. Meaning striving for phony success to please others will bring phony satisfaction. So you don't wanna work hard to prove people wrong. You don't wanna work hard to let people know that you're successful because that would only bring phony success and you won't feel satisfied. Work for yourself, set goals for yourself. Like I wanna work hard to make sure I can retire my mom this year. I wanna work hard so that I can be able to travel the world and visit cool, crazy stuff knowing that my income is consistent and I have a strong system in place. Like these are the reasons why I'm working so hard. You know, I wanna get that private jet. I wanna be able to jump on Russell Brand's space ship and check out space and experience zero gravity. These are things I want and that's sort of why I work so hard. And these are awesome goals. Like they're not for other people, these are for myself. Next is perspective of success. Underdogs win for a reason. They fight for success. Like I've always been an underdog all my life and that sort of really helped me because I'm always fighting for success. But when you reach the top, you start defending success. Like I've definitely been in places where I've seen myself at the top in my circle and all I'm doing is just fighting to defend my position and I'm just like living day to day doing the bare minimum. But I've shifted myself to be the underdog. I'm always looking at people that are way above me and seeing how far I am from those people and always keeping the underdog and startup mentality. Very important. Never defend success, always fight for it. And that's sort of why boxers lose. Like boxers would be the underdog. They'll keep winning, winning, winning. They get to the top and they just lose because they cannot defend success. It's harder. You want to always fight for success. Next, very important, never reach the goal. When you think of yourself as having attained the goal, you become static, you don't progress. And the man who thinks he has arrived has used up all his usefulness. Yeah, you never want to reach the goal. Like when I set those goals I just mentioned, the moment I reach them, I'm onto the next thing, I'm onto the next thing. And that's sort of what induces happiness. People say that this creates an ever ending sort of chase you're sort of creating your own rat race, but you're in your own wheel, you're in your own world, and progressing in your own world is what literally will produce you happiness. Whereas when you're sort of working at nine to five, you're doing the same thing every single day, nine to five for your whole life. Of course, that's very different to having your own life, keep on improving, growing, and always go for the next thing. Those two things are completely different. Like one thing, you're literally in a rat race. This one, you're just constantly chasing, and obviously chasing might seem tiring, but that's actually what induces happiness. And that's why Warren Buffett, at his age, he's still at it. Because goal striving and never reaching a goal and just keep going for the next thing, that's what makes people the most happiness. Lastly, have non-cycling goals. If you're repeatedly doing the same thing day in, day out, 
why get excited about it? Stop going around and around in circles and select goals that are worth striving for and go after it. So maybe setting the next income goal is sort of the same, but not really because at each income level, you have to try new things. But you don't want to set the same goals of saying this year, I want to meditate more. And then next year, I want to meditate more. Like you want to have non cycling goals, have goals that you can reach and move on to the next thing. Um, what's another example? This year, I want to wake up at 7.30 every single day for the whole year. And then next year, you don't want to do the same thing. You want to go to the next thing. You just want to keep growing. And for example, Mark Zuckerberg, he has these yearly goals. And every year, it's completely different. Like complete, like one year is learning Mandarin. The other year is learning how to run a marathon. Another year is learning how to make his home a smart home and use AI. And then he recently switched it up. He's like, no more one-year goals. I'm only setting decade goals. He's always switching things up and that's how you want to live life. And that's what makes life exciting, having non-cycling goals. And yeah, that's today's video. I hope you guys found value in it. This is very different. I really like this mindset content because mindset is so important when it comes to success and entrepreneurship. And I think these videos, even though they get much less views, but they're definitely way more valuable compared to all those sort of strategy videos. Like these are the ones that will be evergreen and always be relevant no matter the time. So I just want to say thank you for all those people who support my content every single day. I just want to say thank you. Let's go ahead and announce the last video's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consult course with me. The winners here if you guys want to qualify or the digital drop comment below follow me on Instagram hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that I hope you guys have an amazing day. Question of the day tell me your goal for this year. Let me know, I wanna hear all your goals. You've heard my goals, share your goals in the comments below and I know everyone's gonna support each other and I'm just curious to hear what your goals are. Let me know and I'll help you reach there. Thanks so much, have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow, peace.